So back with the sequel to Fremenic Trials, we have the Fremenic Isles. You'll need level 20 construction, level 40 agility, which is boostable, and a high enough combat level to kill a level 122 Troll King, who attacks with all three attack types and has crazy high defense against magic and ranged. Also, I recommend having a high enough prayer level to pray protect from magic and protect from missiles and protect from melee would also be good. Additionally, Iron Men will need 56 woodcutting and 46 crafting to obtain some items. Everybody else can buy them on the GE. The only quest you need to have completed is Fremenic Trials, and YouTube took away the ability to make sections of the screen clickable, but the link is in the suggested pop-up thing and the description below. In your bank you'll need 9 rope, a knife, either a frumpnik shield and 8 split logs bought from the GE, or if you have 56 wood cutting, an axe, 5 brawn nails, and a hammer so you can make your own. Similarly, you'll need either a yak hide, armor top, and legs bought from the GE, or 46 crafting to make your own, along with a needle and tooth thread. And you'll need some standard stuff for battle. You need food, armor, weapon, potions, and several prayer potions specifically, since there's no nearby altar. In your inventory, you'll need a few ore, which depend on your mining level. If your mining level is 9 or lower, you'll need 8 tin ore. If your mining level is between 10 and 54, you'll need 7 pieces of coal. And if your mining level is 55 or higher, you'll need 6 mithril ore, all of which can be noted. You'll also need a raw tuna and a way to get to Relica, whether that's a Camelot teleport, teleport to house, fairy ring code AJR, magic lyre teleport, or your Fremnic sea boots. You don't have to worry about inventory too much this quest because there's a bank on both islands. And the quest begins here, on the northernmost dock of Relica. As I mentioned before, you can teleport home if your house is in Relica. Use the Fremenic Sea Boots teleport, Magic Lyre teleport, Fairy Ring teleport AJR, or just run from Camelot. Find Moored Gunners and talk to him. He says that the king of the island to the north called Yatizo has a mission for you. Ask him to ferry you to Yatizo and off we go! Okay, ye old boat ride. And then we get to Yatizo. Head down the dock, and then through the gate to the city. Go north, and then west through the door to get to the king. Ah, King Yuki Sorvat the fourth. that's him. He's a very talkative cat with a heck of a mustache who doesn't allow the humans to do any business until he is fed. So grab your raw tuna and use it on HRH Kraffen, guessing that stands for His Royal Highness. Okay, now the cat is happy, and we can proceed. Well, actually, turns out some mining traders arrived on the island, and they haven't received their ore yet, so we have to volunteer to get some. You should already have in your inventory, but if you grab the wrong ones, there's a bank just to the southeast. Talk to the king again, and he'll pay you for the ores. 5k coins for 6 mithril ore? Not too bad. Okay, now we can get down to business. Alright, the leader of the nearby island, Natizna, is a simpleton and a fool. Okay. Out to get the king with underhand tricks. Yup. So what can we do to help? He says he's heard we're pretty good with a liar, and he needs a fool. That's rude. The king had a spy that was undercover, but he got injured, and we need to replace him. And even though the islands are right next to each other, the best way to get between them is to actually take the ferry back to Relica, and then take a different fairy. Oh, but before we go, we have to grab a costume. Ah, oh, get out of here, quiz master. It's not my lucky day. Go to the chest behind the king's throne and take out all the items. Hat, top, tights, and boots. Now it's time to go infiltrate the other island. So head back to Mord's ferry at the dock. And you can just right click on him and select Relica. Back at Relica, you can right-click on Maria to take you to Natiznot. On Natiznot, wear the four jester items that we got from the king, and unequip everything else. Okay, looking good! Make your way down the path, through the gate, and to the north you'll find a guy dressed just like you, called Slug Hemligson. Talk to him and tell him the password, which is free stuff please. 
He's given us the code name of Budgie, which your character will protest. So the ruler of this island is called Burger Burogar, and we have to infiltrate his court as a jester so we can overhear what he's planning and tell him you're ready. Finish up the conversation and head to this building to the south. Talk to Monis Burogar, he's the leader. You'll introduce yourself as an unemployed jester and Burogar says, great, he's in need of a new jester. This bit is pretty simple, just do whatever Burogar says. He says dance, we ask, uh, how high? Or we just click on the dance button in the jester controls. You can see the military dudes in the back are making some war plans and we are overhearing it all, all while we dance and jig and juggle. Now return to Slug. Tell him you've got the information and he'll ask you some questions. The answer to the first question is, they will be ready in two days. Second answer, 17 militia have been trained. And third is, there are two bridges to repair. Slug says awesome, good work, and gives you a stack of coins. Next we have to find out when Burogar is going to repair the bridges. Slug would do it, but he <laughs> suffered a juggling accident that he doesn't want to talk about. So take off your jester clothes and stop by the bank right here and grab eight of your nine ropes and either an axe or your eight split logs. And don't lose your jester clothes because we need them later. Then go back to Burogar and of course now he thinks he's meeting you for the first time. He says he's also been seeking your help, just like the king of Yatizo. He says he needs some help repairing some bridges, so everything is going according to plan. <laughs> and Burogar knows it's a weird coincidence that we're carrying the right amount of rope already. Show him the rope and he gives you a thousand coins. Fair enough. They say, next we need some split pine logs. So if you already have them, you can skip this part. To get the logs, just go through the gate, then south through the yak pen and there are some arctic pine trees and cut eight logs. Now go back in the town, and just north of the fountain, there is a stump. Click on it, and you'll get the option to make Arctic Pine Split Log. Chop the logs, and then return to Thakrad Sigmundson. He will explain that the two bridges to the Trolls Island to the north need repairs. And for the next part we're going to have some trolls attacking with melee and ranged, so go north of the bank and grab equipment. If you have rune armor, that'd be great since it offers good protection against ranged melee. I also have an amulet of glory for its bonuses, prayer scroll for a small prayer boost, ring of life, just cause. You don't technically need a weapon, but I would bring one anyway. In your inventory you should have 8 ropes. 8 split logs, knife, prayer potion, and food. Also turn off auto retaliate if you have that on. Now the bridges we need to fix are located here and here. So exit the city and go north. Okay, and after you cross this bridge the trolls will start attacking you. You can kind of see them wandering over there. So click on the first square of the bridge to cross it. And then go west, past whatever's going on here, and then you don't actually have to turn on your protect from missiles. To repair the bridge, right click on it and select repair. Okay, you'll do a little hammering. Then click on the bridge to walk back to the south side. Now go to the east side of the island to repair the eastern bridge. And for this bridge, you definitely want to turn on protect from missiles if you can, because you'll take some range damage if you don't, and you can't heal until you finish the repairing action. And right click repair bridge. Okay, now they're throwing some rocks at me. And now go back across the bridge, and there's a whole troll family waiting for me. Oh wow, got hit for two 11s in a row there. Anyway, head for the bridge back to town, and once you cross this bridge, you're safe. Thank goodness. Now go back into the town so we can tell him we fixed the bridges. Talk to him, Monis Burgar, and you'll tell him we fixed the bridges. 
oh, okay, neat, gives us a few coins. And then they tell you that they aren't planning to attack Yatizo at all, they want to attack the trolls. He talks about their plan to attack the Troll King and asks if you want to lead his forces into battle. Then he says he's worried about the King of Yatizo and asks you to go spy on him. Which, of course, we can do since uh, we were originally working for the King of Yatizo. Okay, now you can unequip your armor for now and grab any weight reducing gear you have since we're going to be doing a bit of running around and uh, some energy potions if you have them. Go down the dock to find Maria. Take the ferry back to Relica and then right click Yatizo on Moored Gunners. Back into the city and talk to the king. He says that the people of Nitiznot have been readying their army to attack, and when we go to explain that they only want to attack the trolls, the king interrupts and says he needs to gather more money to fund the counterattack against Nitiznot. Both your character and good old Thorkel Silkbeard try to convince the king that this is a bad idea, but he keeps interrupting and demands that we create a window tax. And guess who he appoints as the new tax collector? So yeah, we have to collect a thousand coins for each window that the storekeepers have. Should be fun. So, first go to the southwest building and talk to Ring Ring. He is not too happy about it, but he has got eight windows, so type in 8,000 when you're prompted. And then, ugh, we have to tell the poor guy, rules are rules, pay up! And then the gold goes into this special bag, so we can't actually run off with the GP either. Now go to the building to the north and talk to Scully Murka. He has six windows, so he has to pay 6,000 coins. And make him pay up. Moving right along, go to the northeastern building and talk to Flossy Dachsen. And he, oh, he is aggressively ginger. And he needs to pay 5,000 for his five windows. And pay up. Okay, for the next person, you have the option to pay the 5,000 coins for her. And then after the quest, you get access to her store, which sells yak stuff. Yak hair, yak hide, yak meat. It's up to you if you think it's worth the 5k. Prices are cheaper than the GE, but only for yak things. If you do want to pay your tax, go to the bank to the south and grab 5k. So anyway, talk to Van Liga Gostfeher. She needs to pay 5k. And then you'll see this time there's a third option. So just say pay up if you are not interested in her store, or if you want that yak stuff, tell her you'll pay the tax for her. And that is everybody, so go talk to the king again. And there still isn't enough money, so the king says now he's going to implement a beard tax. Mustaches count too. So, tax collection round two. Return to the building to the southwest and find Raum Erdestein. Yep, okay, he's got a beard, and yeah, the citizens are getting real tired of the king's nonsense. But rules are rules, pay up. And then talk to Ring Ring, who tries to convince you he doesn't have a beard. On to the northern building and talk to Scully Murka. Take his beard money. He declares, a beard is a gateway to a man's soul. Not sure if any of you men out there can confirm that. Next, go to the northeastern building and talk to Kipa Catalan, who has a tiny mustache. And talk to Flossie Dalkson. Alright, that should be everybody, and we can go back to the king now. He finally has enough money, so he has a new spy mission for you. To find out who has been repairing Natiznod's bridges. Oh, who could that be? Head back to Mord on the dock. Take the ferry to Relica, and then take the other ferry to Natiznod. Go to the town and talk to Slug, the jester slash spy master. 
He says do the same thing as last time, so go to the bank and grab your four jester outfit pieces and put them on, with nothing else equipped. Go south into the building and talk to Monas Burogar again. And he says great timing, he needs some entertainment. So once again, just click the command that corresponds to Burogar's demand. When you're finished, return to Slug. Tell him you're ready to make your report. The answer to his first question is, they're in a secluded bay near etc. Second answer is, they will be given some potions. And the third answer is, I have been helping, Nate is not. And Slug says to go back and talk to the king again. So you know the drill by now, go back to the dock, talk to Maria, to go back to Relica, talk to Mord, to go to Yatizo, and run down the dock and through the gate and into the city. Talk to the king who has found out that you're the one who fixed the bridges and is kind of mad about it. You'll try and tell him that we were just doing this on his own orders and that Natiznot just wants to attack the trolls. After a long dialogue, the king decides that he can't let Natiznok steal all the glory and also decides to attack the trolls. He gives you a message to deliver to Burgar, so hopefully for the last time, go down to the dock, take Mord's ferry to Relica, take Maria's ferry to Natiznot, and then head back to the bank. Unequip your jester outfit and put it away. We don't need it anymore. You'll need either a Fremnic shield, or if you have 56 wood cutting, an axe, a few bronze nails, a rope, and a hammer. And you'll also need either a yak hide armor top and legs, or if you have 46 crafting, a needle, 15 coins, and two thread, and a weapon to attack some of the level 22 yaks. So if you're making your own shield, armor, or both, go through the gate and into the yak pen. If you need to make the armor, you need three yak hide. There's often somebody or some bot T training here on the yaks, so either just kill the yaks or pick up three yak hide. If you need the shield, chop these arctic pine trees and get two arctic pine logs. Okay, with these supplies, now go back into the city and talk to Burgar. You'll give him the document the king gave you. Now we have to prepare for the final battle with the trolls, which involves equipping yourself with some of the traditional armor of Nitiznot. Thakrad says go get some yak hide, which we've already done, so just talk to him again. If you've already got your yak hide armor, just skip this bit, but otherwise have him cure your yak hide. Next use your needle on your cured yak hide and make some leg armor and some body armor. Okay, talk to Monus again, who says you need to make a Fremenic round shield. So go to the stump thing here, and click on it to get the option to make a Fremenic round shield. Once again, uh, skip this part if you already have a shield. Okay, awesome, we've got all our armor ready now. So talk to Monus again. He formally appoints you as the champion of Natiznot, so all that's left now is the final battle, so let's go to bank and prepare. So for the upcoming battle ahead, you'll be attacked with all three melee, ranged, and magic. Hopefully you have at least 37 prayers so you can pray protect from magic because that's the most important one. Like I mentioned in the intro, the Troll King has crazy high defense against magic and ranged, so I do not recommend using those. You're going to have a long and difficult fight if you do. The Yak Hide Armor and Round Shield actually have special protection from troll attacks, so I recommend that you wear them. They reduce the troll's accuracy and damage and lower their ranged strength. So I've got a motley little collection of gear going on here. My yak hide and round shield and a guthic's rune helm for defense and prayer bonus. Some random cape just for handful of defense. By all means wear something better if you have something better. Amulet of glory, prayer blessing for the prayer bonus, rune scimitar, clank's gauntlets, kind of random, rune boots, and Ring of Life, but Ring of Recoil also is good. Okay, inventory. I always recommend having a one-click emergency teleport for boss battles, and also for after the battle, if you're low on food and health, you probably want to teleport somewhere safe, as uh, the other option is to walk back through the troll cave. 
Definitely bring prayer potions, any defense, attack, and strength potions you may want to use. And I have an energy potion too because there's a bit of running past aggressive enemies. And then of course lots of food. Now we have to get past all the trolls and make it to the cave in the northeast. So make sure your auto retaliate is off and then go north across the bridge like we did before. Now that you have the Fremenic armor, you'll take less damage from the trolls. But if you want to use protect from melee or range, feel free. Cross the second bridge, which puts you deep into troll territory. Go north, through the narrow bit, and then keep running east, past them. Eventually you'll reach a point where they can't reach you, and where you can rest and recover for the next section of the battle. You don't actually have to go all the way east here, I just wasn't sure at what point they stopped following you. So heal if you need to, and then enter the cave opening. Next a little cutscene, nothing too exciting. They were just waiting for you to arrive and to lead the charge. So before we can attack the Troll King, we have to kill 10 trolls. Doesn't matter which trolls, the males, grunts, and runts attack with melee, and then the females attack with ranged. So pray accordingly. The runts are the weakest at level 74, but it can be more effective to take down the level 82 females away from the bulk of the fighting, because then you can just pray ranged and won't take any damage, as opposed to simultaneously being attacked by melee and range. You can use the Fremenic soldiers as allies and work with them to kill the trolls as well. If you need extra food or potions, you can talk to Bork Sigmundsen near the exit of the cave and request food, strength potions, and prayer potions. Depending on the number of available inventory slots, he'll give you up to 10 tuna, 4 3-dose prayer potions, and 3 4-dose strength potions. But he'll only do this once for each, so wait until you need it. After you kill 10 trolls, you'll get a message in the chat box that says you have defeated enough trolls to attack the king. It's pretty subtle, so keep an eye out for it. So when you're ready to fight the king troll, run south past all the trolls and you'll find this broken bridge. Before you cross, turn on protect from magic so you aren't damaged by his magic attack straight away. And then click on the bridge to walk across and here we go. And I recommend keeping protect from magic on the whole time since he uses an attack similar to ice barrage if you don't. Really quick, just dosing up on my defense attack and strength potions. And you can see the Fremenic armor and shields doing a really good job of cutting down the damage he's doing. Really only hitting me with 1s and 2s in both range and melee. And from here it's pretty straightforward, just heal and replenish prayer as needed. For reference, my defense is 52, boosted up to 62 here with the super defense potion. Okay, and he's dead. And we get this really lovely option to decapitate Ice Troll King. Oh, yep. Cutscene of yanking his head off. Okay, awesome. <laughs> now we have to return to Natiznot to finish the quest. So you can either go out the way you came and run past all the trolls, which works fine if you've got food and supplies left, or you can teleport out, make your way back to Relica, and then take the ferry to Natiznot. It depends on what you want to do and how many supplies you have left. When you make it back, talk to Monis Burgar. You'll give him the troll's head, and as a reward, get to choose two combat skills to receive 10k experience to. And Helm of Nate is not. That's one of my staple favorites. And you also get access to this little island here with a runite rock. And quest complete. <laughs>